they were formed in the mother's womb. There has always been religiousness in your spirit from childhood. God told me to tell you that this thing single-handedly did you. You are going to do God's work some kind of way in your life. But you've been through a lot, and the enemy tried on many times to get rid of you. But can I take a look at you? What's your name? Shola. Shola. They cannot touch you. Yeah. Touch your name for the devil can't touch me. Yeah. Last thing I want to tell you some type of way in your life you will travel overseas. Yeah. Yeah. You will not have money. Yeah. You will not have to borrow. You will not have to borrow. You will not have to borrow. You are a generous woman. I don't know what to do, but God has put the anointing of generosity in your spirit. Yeah. Go back to your Go back to your
that we are going to marry is not the small one. Yeah, no. 
Say by this time next year. And the appointed time. You will bear a child. That is the promise. I prophesy that from today, wherever your husband is, wherever your wife is, Lord, Holy Spirit, go and set for them. Now, by this time next year, everyone on this line will get married. I say you will get married. You will get married. You will have
by the authority in the name of Jesus. Amen. Your word said in Exodus 15, 26, that you are the Lord that God has led you. That you will never allow us to suffer the diseases of the Egyptians. Your word said in Psalm 107, verse 20, that you sent your word and your word healed that disease and brought us out of destruction. Isaiah 53, verse 5, the word said that when you were wounded for my transgression, bruised for my liberty, that the chastisement of your peace was upon us and by your strife we are healed. James chapter 5, verse 13, 14, 15, 16. James said, if, if any one of you sick, if any one of you in trouble, let them come to the elders of the church. And let the elders of the church anoint you with oil, that the prayers of the righteous will heal the sick. That's why I speak what I speak. God gave me the authority and power to speak what I speak. And God is looking for his, his candidates and his children that will speak like the way he speaks. Father God, right now we thank you. Because diabetes is the heal. That the man is very weak. Heart blood pressure is the heal. Stomach ache is the heal. My way today is the heal. The spirit of fear, frustration is the heal. Death threat is the heal. Whenever they tie you up, wherever they plan evil against you. Wherever your name has been mentioned in, in the realm of the spirit by the enemy. Because they, they, don't, they can't stand you because you are living. By the authority in the name of Jesus, we command your assignment cancel. Thank you, Father, for hearing our prayer. Thank you for healing everyone. The Bible says everywhere Jesus went, every sick person that came in contact with Jesus Christ, every one of them were healed. And that same anointing is upon my life this afternoon. To, to heal because you gave me that anointing. And we thank you for it that is done. In Jesus' name. Go back to your son. Hey!
I'm almost about to close. Um, is there any question here? Because it, it, I have not been here for two and a half years because we couldn't travel out of the United States. Is there anyone quickly to give a hand a very brief testimony? Just one minute. If there are too many, I'll restrict it to only three. Maybe it's something that God has done for you through this ministry for the past 11 years. Come here, quickly, quickly. And I want you to cut it to just one minute. If you go to your one minute, I'll take you back. For who else? Who else? Who else? God has not done anything for your pastor. Not everybody is sitting down. Come here. Who else? So what we are going to do, what we are going to do is to give you just one more minute. We are not rushing the Holy Spirit, but I realize that.
large number of women's ministry here in the city. Branches uh, in Abuja, different places, women of this area. So, tell us in one minute your testimony about, about this ministry. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Dr. Solomon has been a blessing in the women of this Akam ministry. I was speaking with Mrs. Orak on Friday. So I told her that you were around. She actually asked me to send the numbers. So many years ago when you came to William of Mr. Ministry, she made a, you made a prophecy to her. And then she was the general manager of um, Silver Bank. And you told her that God said she's not supposed to work under anybody. But that she's supposed to be on her own. She's supposed to be an employer of labor. And uh, within a few months, she lost the job. She got another good job. She lost the job. And so she got tired and frustrated. Then today, she's the professor to the very big school in uh, uh, Akko Wojo. She will tell me, if, I will go to the area. They walked from Akko Wojo to their permanent site. She <laughs> did a space of two years. The school increased, favor came, and today she's an employer of labor. So she told me that it was Dr. Solomon that made that prophecy. That she's going to call you. So today, I'm sure she's going to call you. And today we are proud of our, of our music director. Yeah. Our music in the ministry. Our music director plays for us. Initially when he started. He will be paying him money. Oh, your music director? Yes, my music director, sorry. Okay. And uh, at the end of the day, he came and said, Madam, I'm not going to take money again. I want to render service. This man waited for two of the road for 13 years. Then Dr. Solomon came in one of our outreaches and he told him that he's going to be a father of children. We received the prophecy because he's going to be one child at, at a time. But when this man's wife got pregnant, she delivered three plates. Yeah. And she died on your feet of wood. Thank you very much for being a great teacher for the Christ. And I will love the people in the past. In Jesus' name. I'm so sorry. I want to let you go back to this. So, I, I, I remember vaguely that I, I, I finished preaching and I just called the young man out. I'm going to your wife. Yeah. I spoke to her and said you have children. Yes. But I, I never knew that for 13 years they have been married. They didn't have a child. But God did it. Let's give Jesus a praise. You can go back to us. Amen. Amen. This is the last thing I want to do. Please listen to me so that we can do your division. We have so much food for you. We did the catering. Nobody will leave without you getting a place to live here. I am going to get involved in serving, serving you because that is our our our, our role is to serve you. And that's what the the true leader is a servant. But anyway, before I came, we have done so much. We have done so much. So much here, uh, a lot of finances are utilized in many things here. But well, we are having a meeting that day, and they will give it to back and told me they needed uh, two monitors, one here, one here. And I wish that I knew about it before I came, they would have been here. That's almost close to 200,000. But I told you, I said by Monday, I will, I, will, I, will, I will buy those monitors so that the church will have it. When they are singing, they will be able to hear the music. So I will do that. The last thing that I want to bring to you is uh, a generator. We need a generator. Where is the usher? Give everybody an envelope. And I'm trying to appeal to you. Uh, if one person can buy it, 
fine. Just put your name in the paper. But I really want to make an appeal to you. Uh, to, to go extra mile in your giving. Maybe, maybe you can give a hundred thousand. Personally, I don't think the hundred thousand towards that. So we have three hundred and fifty left. So I want the elders to go to everybody. Is there anybody that can join you with the hundred thousand I to buy to buy this generator for, for the kingdom of God? If you are just let up the hand, you will come back and do it. We want to do this quickly and we want to let you go. Because it's church and university. This is church and university once a year. So we always want to mark something for this season. Has anybody want to give a hundred thousand? Just put it up for me. Anybody for one hundred thousand? What about fifty thousand? Say, you know what? 